Welcome to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Renee Grubb, and Renee is the founder of Teachers Fund. Welcome, Renee. Oh, thank you, Cinder. I've been looking forward to being here. Thank oh, you. Oh, gosh, I'm so glad you were yeah. able to come and tell us all. I know you have lots of inspiring things to tell us. You've been doing such important good work that you started all by yourself. <laughs> so. Well, I, get, I have a lot of help, but you're right. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just a little history on Teachers Fund mm -hmm. is that we, um, we started in 2002. Okay. So, um, and uh, we just saw a need uh, that um, for children, and we had heard that a lot of our teachers um, come out of pocket to fund things oh, in gosh. their classroom. And especially in particular, it, um, if you were to go back and Google 2002, it was a pretty tough, um, pretty tough year for education. Uh. So that kind of came to the forefront for us, and we thought, well, gosh, let's let's help that teacher in her in her or his classroom uh, fund, you know, do the things that they want to do and fund them personally. Mm -hmm. So um, so the, we've been doing that now for, since 2002, and we're going strong. We um, have um, like yesterday, we just had a, one of our monthly meetings. Uh -huh. My the board of directors. And we had, I believe it was 34 requests, and I believe that we funded all 34. So requests come from individual teachers. Correct. And they submit those, yes. and then you sort of evaluate them. And exactly. Um, you know, the board, of, our board of directors, is very familiar with, um, you know, different um, uh, needs that the that the classroom might have. Mm -hmm. I have a retired. Um, uh, principal on on our board, uh -huh. so she's very helpful with that. She knows about all the different programs and things, and um, and and then I have I, I have a couple young people that will Google things quickly, uh. you know, to look up things, <laughs> and good. so we can right on the spot um, make a decision. Uh, and then the teacher, um, yes. Yeah, so the teach we have a website, mm -hmm. um, www .village uh, I'm sorry, dot, dot teachersfund.org. Okay. So it's www.teachersfund.org. Really easy. And our that's where the teacher um, puts it, submits, there's a form, and they submit the form. And they ask for what they need. Um, they research it in advance to so they know how much it's going to be, so we know oh. how much we're funding. Oh. And they tell us oh, what school they're from. Uh, they tell us um, uh, the grade and then also how many students it will benefit. So give me an example of some things they might request. Okay, so um, so think, like yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, we had a, I believe it was a, um, uh, it's pre-kindergarten and kindergarten, because uh -huh. they have that now. And by the way, we, we fund kindergarten through um, 12th grade. Okay, gosh, you do it all. We do, and we do public and private schools. Oh, that's good. And we do all of Southern um, South County, and we do part of North County, and most of more North County. We, we, um, up, up to Lompoc, I believe. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so, yes, so the teacher goes in, um, so yesterday, yes, talking about yesterday, um, so we have a, 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 a preschool, pre-K, kindergarten teacher that requested um, that she build a garden, an oh. herb garden, and off of her patio. So, uh -huh. so you know, those raised... Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, the raised gardens. So we funded that for her. And, oh, um, great. Yeah, and, and that's like a photo op, yes, right? Yes, of course. So we asked her to take a photo of it. Yeah. Gosh. Now, I thought, or I thought anyway, that the school district would provide a lot of the materials and all, mm -hmm. but th that doesn't always happen? Well, they... Obviously, they provide a lot. Yes, they um, do. And but these are the kinds of things that that if they were to ask the school district to, you know, they have to submit, oh. and and then it takes a while, and you know, all of that, and and then sometimes it either doesn't come in time, or um, they may get denied. Uh -huh. And so ours are a little unusual. I'm not sure if the school district would 
fund a garden, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, we do um, things like if a, if a teacher wants to put a little play on or something oh. and wants some costumes uh -huh. um, or even perhaps to buy the scripts and things like that or music to go with it, um, we fund those kinds of things. Okay, so yeah. costumes. So kind of more creative, out-of-the-box yes. kinds of things. Absolutely. Um, we do have a lot of teachers, though, I must say, Cinder, that um, may have a certain reading program oh, uh -huh. that they really want. Uh, and if it's something that we're not sure of, then we, ha we have them ask the principal to get approval. Oh, oh, sure. And so if the principal says, oh, yes, that's, you know, that's just fine, then we, we fund those, too. So we do a lot of educational things. Um, for example, um, a f a f not very. I think it was just pre pre COVID. We funded a um, robotics. Oh. At wow. um, yeah, out at Dos Pueblos High School. Oh, so that cool. would be that might be hard for the district to, you know, uh, okay or yeah. you know it's not a regular curriculum type thing. But this science teacher really wanted to do this project, and we thought it was so great. We we said yes. So, beside, in addition to your um, board of directors, yes, who else helps you with this? Well, I mean, I have to say our agents um, at Village Properties, as you so know. You're, so you're the owner of Village Properties, and so you, the agents that work with you. Exactly, are. exactly. And, you know, they're not required um, to donate to the Teachers Fund, uh -huh. but I can tell you that a large majority, especially when they close an escrow, they will just, oh gosh. yeah, they'll carve out, um, you know, some funds for teachers fund. So we get funded that way. And then, um, and then I have actually a group of my uh, agents who uh, do a, a back to school supplies drive. Oh, wow. And so that turns out to be um, sponsorships. Uh -huh. from um, a lot of the um, businesses in town, just like every uh, any other nonprofit, sure. you know, you, you need that sponsorship um, to get things, uh, you know, to, to do more advertising for one thing, but then, but, but they, but it's actual, it's an actual donation. And yeah. so we, we raised quite a bit of money doing that. We, we did a golf tournament for a while, <laughs> <laughs> me, with a golf tournament, but um, <laughs> it was, um, it, that's hard and so we decided oh let's just try this and it, it's been working out beautifully and oh, then we, we do a big party at the end and thank everybody and um, so we're, we, we, we do quite well we're, we're, we we have a lot we keep we try to spend as much money as we can in the in a school year though we oh. really want we don't want to have money in the bank ah oh, gotcha yeah we, we you know and the one thing um, Village Properties does is we pay for everything. We underwrite everything. So if you were to give fifty dollars, a dollar, a hundred percent of that goes toward the teachers fund. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, that was something we decided at the very beginning. That's really great. Yeah. So you're a five hundred one c three nonprofit. Yes. yes. And so a person can make a financial. Uh, contribution that is tax deductible. Exactly. And they could probably go on your website. Yes. And maybe you have a donate button. I do. I do. Yes. So yeah. that's we try to make it as easy as possible. So then that would, as a donor, that I would feel very good about the fact that 100% of my donation goes right in exactly. to that fund. Exactly. Yeah. And and we've been doing that from from the very beginning. We just felt that. You know, this is something that we were passionate about, and we, you know, we love our teachers. We know mm -hmm. how difficult it is for them to, um, you know, maneuver things, especially if they don't have all of the, uh, you know, all all of the items or, or supplies that they yeah. need. Uh, another one that we fund quite a bit is like organizational type things within the classroom. So. Like they'll, uh, the teacher will say, you know, I've got you know, 24 children and I would like to get these little packs that they can put behind their chair and have all of their um, oh. supplies in yeah. so that they don't sit up on top of the desk and it's much more, you know. And so, you know, again, photo ops. Um, I remember 
one teacher wanted one of, the, at the very beginning, it was so sweet, it was at Adams School, mm -hmm. and she wanted a, um, she wanted one of those big staplers. Oh. <laughs> the, you know, the, the, <laughs> the mighty staplers. Yes. And we actually, she invited us over and we sat in these tiny little chairs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we had a photo op of that, and it oh, was so gosh. cute. Yeah. So funny. it's fun. We have we have so many stories. Um, you know, I've uh, again back to uh, Adams School. The principal there, who's just amazing, has helped us do little commercials for Teachers Fund oh. that we put on cable. And oh. um, yeah, it's I bet they like that. well, just trying to get donations. You know? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah so gosh, mm -hmm. so you, oh, okay. So you've been doing this for a little over twenty years. Yes. Then. Yes. Gee whiz. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I, I think I remember when you started it, but I didn't realize it was 20 years ago. I know. Gee, so, um, in that time then, do you have a sense of how much you've donated to uh, I teachers? do. I, I actually, before I was going to come on the show, I, I asked our, um, our, ta our accountant, um, where are we right now? And he said that we have funded uh, around two million Four hundred and fifty thousand. Wow, we. I know. That's I know. a lot. It is a lot, and you know the 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 requests come in every year, and I must say I'll talk a little bit about cope during the COVID time oh, if yes, you don't yes, mind yes. too. But um, uh, on an average, we we fund about anywhere between eighty five and a hundred thousand a year, mm. and um, not at the very beginning because it took a while sure, for sure. people to get to know us. But I don't think there's a teacher out there that doesn't know about Teachers Fund. Yes, yes. You know, that they can actually come there. But, um, but yeah, during COVID, um, Cinder, with everything going remote so quickly, mm -hmm. and it happened basically during the summer, mm -hmm. because I think they decided during the summer, you're not coming into the classroom, yeah. right? And um, so we sent out a letter immediately to all the schools all the principals to mm -hmm. let them know that we would be funding early before September yeah. if they needed anything. Mm -hmm. And so we um, honestly we provided like umbrellas for outside so mm. that so some of the schools that were still ha would have uh, classrooms outside. Uh, we did a couple of tents for them to teach outside. Wow. Um, we um, we provided. Um, uh, some document cameras mm. so that the teacher um, who was working from home could, you know, uh, have, a, have manipulatives to sort of help mm. with the, uh, uh, with showing the kids different things yeah. so that they could, um, and, you know, and a couple of teachers, you know, said, I just, I need a, I need a new laptop. And oh. so we were just, we were doing that. I'm, oh, and, gosh. and it was, it was so gratifying to be able to help, because I had grandkids that were online, you yeah, know, yeah. learning online, so I knew that it was challenging for, for the teachers, but yeah, it felt really good to be able to just step in there, and we had the funds, so it was great. That is great. Yeah. So this is so amazing. Um, how in the world did you ever think about it? I mean, what is your connection with teachers initially, back in 2002? How, okay. how did you think of this? Well, I mean, that's, a gr that's a great story in itself, <laughs> is that, um, you know, um, started Village Properties in 1996, okay. and pretty quickly uh, we got to know the nonprofits. They started uh -huh. contacting us, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and we just felt, um, we started at the beginning, you know, funding, a cla uh, not classrooms, but schools for their jogathons, and, oh, oh, sure. you know, and things like that, mm -hmm. and wherever we could. And, and so it became um, something that we um, we just enjoyed. You know, we mm -hmm. would uh, go to the jogathon or whatever. Yeah. You know, things like that. We would get invited, and um, and and then so then I had I actually had someone come to me um, who uh, was a PR person, and she mm -hmm. uh, she's a friend. She said, let's. Let's just sit down, Renee, and let's think about what you are doing with your nonprofit funds. Okay. And so I brought our spreadsheet of where where, where the money was going, mm -hmm. and it, it was going to different places. Like I've always been involved with the Heart Association, and uh -huh. you know different things like yeah. that. And now you know uh, Communify, and you know yes. a lot of different yeah. place uh, things like that. And so 
um, she just went through it and she said, you know, you really, most of your funds go to um, children okay. and the schools. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so her son had just started at Brandon School as uh -huh. a kindergartner. And the teacher sent home a long list of supplies that he needed to bring to school. So my friend, being the way she is, she said to the teacher, well, you know, I know that some parents have three and four children in the school. Yes. How do they, you know, can they, they have to do, you know, is bring in yeah. the supplies. And the teacher said to her, well, none of my children go without. Oh. So if, if there's one or two children that can't bring all those supplies, I make sure they have them so that they feel good in the classroom. Yeah. And so that was that yeah, that idea that I talked about at the very beginning yes, yes. about um, teachers taking it out of their own pocket. Yes, yes. And so we thought, well, heck, let's just fund the classroom and let they know what they need for their classroom. And so that's where the idea was actually born. That is great. And I love it that you trust the teachers oh, to yes. tell you what they need instead of you saying, okay, I know you need this and you need that. So... Right. No, you, you trust them to tell you what they need. Absolutely, absolutely, and they love it. And then the other part of it is, so it, for example, yesterday we had our meeting, mm -hmm. and my staff member, with, literally within two, three days, will send a letter to that teacher and tell them that they've been funded and to send in their receipt. And because we do ask them to purchase first uh -huh. and then we reimburse them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But sometimes if it's a larger item, mm -hmm. the teacher will say, well, I don't, I don't have the funds to yeah. purchase it and we'll purchase it for okay. them. Yeah. So we, we do work with them on things like that. But, um, and then, you know, that's our, that it's pretty simple. I mean, it's probably the easiest thing they've ever had to do. And once they send the receipt in, I mean, they they get funded. We we reimburse them or fund them, honestly, within five to seven days. And what so, a blessing! Yeah, it's to a the quick teachers, term. and what a powerful contribution you're making to our whole community. Oh well, thank you, thank That's you. Amazing. I want, do you think any other um, communities have something like this? Well, you know, I honestly tried to get a couple of um, company, real estate companies up oh. in North County oh, uh -huh. because we can't service like mm -hmm. Santa Maria and they're, sure. they have an amazing need and yes. they do. Yeah. And, um, and I haven't, I said, we'll, we'll teach you everything. Yeah. We'll show you, we'll give you our yeah. software, we'll do everything. And, you know, I don't know, everybody, yeah. you know, it's hard. It's hard to start something. Maybe someday, maybe someday. I'm still maybe. working on it. I'm, Good. Or, you know, if we can raise, um, continue to raise funds, then I would like to include yeah. North County, all of North County. That, is that great. would be wonderful. Oh gosh, Renee. Yeah. Thank you for your very inspiring story oh, and for all of your great work and telling us all about it today. Absolutely, absolutely, my pleasure. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.